Maybe you're starting a new job in like two months. Maybe you're about to buy a dog. Your entire current reality, your current life situation is going to flip. It's going to change. As a result, the person that you are right now is never going to be the same. Like your identity and everything along with it is going to change as well. <gasps> Feels like your mind and body have already shifted to this, this different era of life that you're meant to be in, but your body is still stuck in the present moment. It's still stuck in this alter reality that you've outgrown it feels like you kind of just have to wait here until that door opens until you get the green light and like what do you do between now and that date what do you do in between that time is usually filled with a ton of uncertainty but sometimes that moment in time the in-between phase can also be filled with a lot of growth and a lot of new opportunities like you know when you graduated high school and it was like oh my god like this is so exciting and everyone's cheering you on like you did a wonderful job through these like four years of school and we're so proud of you and now you're on to your next chapter now you're on to the next part of life it's kind of like that but when you're not in school you're transitioning from one stage to the next there's no like award ceremony of like okay good job you did it i'm so happy that you moved from one apartment to the next i'm so happy you bought a dog or whatever it's kind of like you just do it but the in-between phase is it just gets more uncomfortable because it's it's just even more uncertainty and it's almost like more more is on the line as you get older that's why it feels so uncomfortable because you're like am i making the right decision i know i'm not meant to be in this like current reality current version of myself i know i'm supposed to like level up and grow and evolve and like open the door to the next level but is this the right time is this the right move for me that brings up the idea of the in-between phase you're probably watching this video because you yourself are in the in-between phase right now in your life deep down you really just want to love the experience or you want to get the show on the road you want to start living your new life you want to just like embody this new version of yourself and you want to leave this like in-between phase behind you no matter how you feel about this in-between phase of life you've probably experienced this weird sensation this weird like uncomfortable feeling at some point in your life with all things just embrace it and to not resist it because when we resist things we're creating pain out of thin air let me ask you this if i asked you the question how would you describe your life or how would you describe life maybe you would say like it's full of opportunities like it's like a box of chocolates you might say there's a lot of high in life there's beautiful passionate moments where you just you feel the zest of life you feel this positive vibrational energy and you just want to soak up the sun and you want to jump on a boat and you want to eat amazing food and you you feel so connected to certain people you feel connected to source you feel connected to yourself and you just you love life you know those moments where you just feel like you are so alive those moments are like ingrained in your mind forever usually you want to stay in that era of like the very happy moments feel good I am alive moments of life the most because they're happy. Like, why wouldn't you want to stay in the happy moments of life? Well, life also has its lows. So it has its fair share of rock bottoms, of goodbyes, of heartbreaks, of overall hopelessness and intense grief that typically embodies the mind and overall body. Sometimes it can feel like you're in this phase of sadness or like the lows of life for a very long time, which is ironic because you would think that you would want to stay in the very like, highs of life like the good times of life the longest but for some reason like you mentally just get stuck sometimes in the lows of life if we look at an actual brain scan you can, you'll see that certain areas of the brain do not light up when they're encountering a happy experience i just find it very interesting how the brain works and how the brain lights up when it's doing certain tasks and this is what makes you so unique your brain is neuroplastic so it can always shift and mold into whatever you want it to do so the in-between phase of the ebbs and flows so like the highs and the lows is exactly that that is what the in-between phase is I learn things a lot better when I see a visual and a chart and so I, I created this this beautiful evolution of life diagram we start at stage one which is childhood you're a child and you begin to explore your passions freely you don't feel like anyone is in your way you're not afraid to show your true colors and be your true self you literally try anything and everything that your heart guides guides you to do. At this point of your life, the child is protected and taken care of by their caretaker or parents. And so they're not responsible for any major decisions and they don't
don't have any major responsibilities. At this point in your life, you learn how to mimic other people. If you're learning how to function in society so that you can be autonomous later on in life, later on when you enter new stages. The main challenge of the stage is when adults begin to punish you for exploring certain passions. That experience will be ingrained into your mind and you'll basically either transform into a people pleaser because you don't want to feel that that pain of like when someone yells at you for like punishing you for something so you'll protect yourself and become a people pleaser or you become very timid and you kind of just like curl up and just stop exploring your passions or exploring interests in certain things stage two is the school transition and early adulthood in this stage maybe you're entering middle school you're entering high school you're entering college you're entering like youtube university i don't care what it is in this stage of life you begin to compare yourself to your peers so you're not mimicking people anymore you're comparing yourself and being like you say that you're good enough or you're not good enough because you're comparing yourself to other people. You're now getting an idea of what you should look like because you are comparing yourself to other people. Things that you might've just been taught by your caretakers in stage one of life, you now begin to question some of these things. You're pegging your actual beliefs to the things that you are studying. Okay, stage three is all about self-discovery and the big decision. So in this stage, you either decide to go to college and work the nine to five life, or you decide to go the entrepreneur route and create your own business. Instead of being very negative to yourself and using negative self-talk, you actually realize that your differences and your skills and interests are actually the thing that sets you apart from those people, and that is actually your superpower. You begin to make decisions for yourself in this stage, and you begin to rely on yourself as well. You fall into this deep love for yourself, and you, you figure out that you can trust yourself. So stage four, five, and six are actually a cycle. So you continuously go into the cycle until you're done, and you shoot out and you enter stage seven, which is the final stage of life. So stage four is the intense exploration. With any Anything that you are passionate about if it's your career if it's a business that you've created in order to get to that point you will experience a ton of failure you'll experience a lot of wins as well you will basically just try anything and everything that is interesting to you in this stage you might revisit certain activities that lit up your brain when you were a child you're like wait a second I love to paint when I was younger like I know I was terrible when I was five but this is actually fun. Like I'd love to study this and become a better artist. In this stage, you also, you test run what it's like to date certain people. You figure out like, okay, it's trial and error. Like some people are a good fit. Some people are not. Like again, some are wins, some are L's. And in this stage, you also begin to try different jobs as well. You might take a part-time job working at a paint studio. Whatever it is, you're trying different things. You're seeing what works for you and what doesn't. So let's say you found something that actually is a perfect fit, that is when you move on to stage five. Stage five is flow state achieved. In this stage, you discover the business model that works, that's cash flowing for you and generating you revenue. You discover a relationship that is the perfect fit for you and you've discovered a career path or maybe the business model is your career at this point in time that is aligned with your purpose. You feel like you are in flow state all the time whenever you are doing your work. I feel like every day is flying by in the best way. This is because you decided to stick to a certain thing until you could achieve that feel good sensation. And then stage three is all about the roadblock. This stage introduces the concept of diminishing returns. For example, there is this place that I get an acai bowl pretty much, I used to get it one time a week and I looked forward to it. Like it was something that I was so excited about. It's a chocolate peanut butter acai bowl. It's freaking amazing. So I would just go there on Saturday and get my acai bowl. Well, then all of a sudden I was like, dang, I really need another one during the week. I started getting it two times a week. And then before you know it, I was getting it three times a week and I would actually order it to my office that I work at a couple days out of the week. Before you know it, I was eating this acai bowl five times a week. <laughs> Believe it or not, after I had it that many times, I started to not appreciate it as much. I didn't have like that that spark, that feeling of like 
this is the best smoothie bowl or acai bowl I've ever had in my life. When you have too much of something, it's always going to get old over time. Stage five lasts as long as you run up against your limitations. I've hit a wall. My business isn't scaling. This relationship isn't actually that good. Traveling can get kind of annoying after a while and expensive, and I'd rather just drop a bag on a nice place and just be, be present in this one spot. When that happens, you enter stage six. In this stage, you'll, you'll experience a natural natural speed bump or a stop sign that's basically going to tell you okay this is things are not working out we need to go back to the drawing board we need to keep exploring our passions and finding something else that's going to align with our our interests like what we like to do at this moment in time you'll, you'll actually go back to stage four which is the stage of intense exploration and you'll continue the cycle of stage four five six four five six until you finally find something that allows you to be in a flow state for a long period of time when you find that perfect balance that is when you can then move on to stage seven so in stage seven this is when you double down in this stage you now understand exactly what you want you've gone through the process of trial and error you've tried enough things and now you just you know you know what you want and you're you know what makes you happy you know what lights you up you know which part of your brain is activated when you do certain things you might drop like a bag on a huge investment you might buy the house like on the ocean Wh whatever it is in this stage you go full force because you're confident and you feel that that sense of happiness in this stage you also just have so much wisdom because you've gone through the process of trial and error and you know what works what doesn't you maximize your full potential and you go full force into that one business model into that one one person, that one beautiful relationship into that one house that's on the ocean, the one that you've always wanted. In between each of these stages, you will experience an in-between phase. You will experience a transition. And that transition is literally this weird feeling of uncertainty of like, do I move on to the next stage? When do I move on to the next stage? How should I be feeling about this like transition? If we learn to like appreciate like, dang, we are moving to the next stage and just like embrace how, how much you've grown and how much you have you have experienced and the wisdom you have collected it's like okay I am ready for this next stage. I can take it on. As you transition between each of the stages, you'll begin to experience a reshuffling of life priorities. For example, certain friendships won't be a priority. Relationships, your job, your family, health, money, travel. All of these things will have a different priority. Like when you are a child, your, your main priority is not your health and to make a lot of money, right? When you are an adult, your main priority isn't like having a ton of friends, at least like that's not my priority. My priority right now is to travel, to make money, and to love myself. So as I move to the next stage of my life, the priorities are going to change. And that is what the in-between phase of life is all about. That's why certain friendships that you have just begin to die off over time. Another thing to note is if you meet someone that's in the in-between phase and you want to like date them, but you're still in stage three and four, and you're just like, you're exploring your passions, you're doing a trial and error test run, but there are already in stage seven like they have already found their thing and they're doubling down and you aren't their definition of like the perfect relationship you're gonna feel this weird like disconnect with that person you might feel a moment of clarity of like this is the perfect puzzle piece this is where i'm supposed to be the puzzle piece is just not gonna work anymore and that's because you have different priorities one person has a very clear vision and then the other person's like like all over the place and is still in the process of doing the trial and error which is literally essential for for like evolution and to become the best character that you can be and so you won't be able to meet that person at the stage that they're at in life which is Honestly, I think the reason why there are so many situationships out there because people are not aware of which stage they're at in their life. You can't be at stage four and date someone at stage seven. Time out, you know, it's not gonna work. If you don't know which stage someone's in, people actually put their stage on display if you're actually mindful about it. Like, think about it. If you're in the earlier stages of life, you'll judge other people based on their appearance, based on their weight, based on their social class. So if you see someone that's just really judgmental, like that girl's outfit is is not cute or that person is super fat or like that person looks super poor you're probably in an earlier stage of life you're you're making these comments because you're trying to 
get approval from your peers. As you move on to the, like the middle stages of life, you will judge others based on their skills, based on their abilities, based on things that they've built, based on their willingness to take chances and to push their own individual boundaries. In the later stages, you will actually judge yourself on what you've accomplished and the values and goals that you live by. You'll judge yourself if you've actually followed through on your mission and made your vision a reality. So if you see like the different there like in the earlier stages of life like you're judging other people based on different things in the later stages of life you're basically looking at yourself in the mirror being like listen did we do it or did we not do it and if we didn't do it what happened why do you get stuck in this in-between stage of life well let me tell you if you think to yourself i could i could be doing something else i could be somewhere else right now i could be spending my money elsewhere if you ever say those things to yourself you don't feel like you're enough or you don't feel like you're in the right place making an impact and we all want to feel like we're making an impact, right? At the end of the day, like you want to leave a legacy when you leave this earth. You realize that your current life situation won't allow you to leave that impact. And so as a result, you're stuck in this in-between phase. Like you want to move to the next stage to, to make that impact, to make a change, dig deep into your blueprint and to make your passions a reality. So the best way to make the most of the time that you have in between stages is to take a moment to reflect on your goals and reflect on your aspirations to make sure you're reminding yourself that like this is why you're working so hard this is why you are on a journey and just like go back to your values and your roots like what makes you you what are your goals just like have a moment to reflect because you don't get these moments all the time and then finally just remember this is one of my favorite quotes that Hannah Montana shared with us but life is what you make it so let's make it right. So that is everything I have to share with you today. I hope you guys like this video. I introduced this concept on TikTok and a lot of people liked it, were commenting. And so I wanted to just expand a little bit. And it's honestly, this idea came up because I am going, I am in the in-between phase right now of my life. And I'm still in the cycle of the four, five, six stages. And I like my like era of living in Chicago is coming to an end. So it feels kind of weird knowing that like this isn't going to be my home anymore. And like I'm moving to Europe, which is crazy. And so it's just like getting comfortable with that idea. And many times I'm like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. Like, is this the right decision? Am I doing the right thing? But it's like, Yes, I am. Sometimes you don't know that it's the right plan until you do it, right? But everything happens in life for a reason. So I'm like confident about that. I have decided that I am never going to stay in the same place for more than two years. So whether that's a job, whether that's like a place that I'm living, I will never do that from this point on because I lost the zest of life. And instead of just being like, what's going on? Like, why, why am I not happy? Like, why am I not, why do I not feel fulfilled? Blah, blah, blah. It's because you're in the same space. Like you need to move and experience new things. And I've, I've given myself that by traveling, like doing little mini solo trips, but long-term I just made the rule that every two years, I'm out. Like that's just the way I'm going to roll. As cliche as this sounds, honestly, just enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. If you're not liking your experience of life right now, do something to change it. Like, you know, go grab a coffee. Do something that like makes your, your heart happy. Get an acai bowl. Like that's what I do. And I'm always like, I level up my happiness by like at least five points. So, and just know the in-between phase is not forever. Nothing in life is permanent. And that's what makes it so good. Like you don't want things to be permanent. Like it's good to have change. It's good to evolve. It's good to become the best version of you little by little each day. That is all I have to share with you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.